right by it. Let's get right down to the belt. Fuck this shit. I'm bored. Hey, is it for 20 yet? You've been a lovely audience. I'm gonna go with D Rage Small. Oh, don't you dare do it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I lose! Broadcasting live from Capital City, America. This is Late Late Night Night Poker Poker. Yeah! Oh, this is the part I like. They love me, the peoples. Eddie, Eddie. Chanting my name mindlessly. Like a bunch of androids that have no will of their own. Thank you very much for joining me here tonight. It's late night poker. Let's get down to the felt. Where we've got action right away. Man. And we just sat down with these guys and we don't know anything. And man, this is the kind of thing where they're just going to raise you. And you don't know. And you know what? It's just a fucking mess, man. Pocket threes. And all these people. And then I would have put 140. And then, then they would make it 420. And let's see what if I would have put 140. There's 420. Let's see these guys. It would have just been a mess. How's everybody doing out there? Y'all look beautiful. And uh, we seem to have gotten rid of almost all of the aggregators, which is good. There's only another TTV viewer who's out there. Bebop is doing miserable. That's right. We are all mourning the end of the Jets' unbeaten streak. Well, Bebop, there is some good news, but if you would have looked at your uh, Twitter, you would have seen it. There is some good news. Hold on. Chris. A new subscription. Ladies and gentlemen. Mr. JHMC has just subscribed to the stream. Ladies and gentlemen. The man himself. Thank you very much there, JHMC. You guys are keeping me going. What can I say? Well, actually, I don't know. Would I have put 420 now? You what? You answered my tweet. Wait a minute. And <laughs> okay, you did. Thirteen minutes ago. All right. <laughs> yes, I told you there's some good news. <laughs> so what was the score you guys I suppose it's one of those sports where you only get one point if you score a goal as opposed to football where you make six points it's way better I mean even basketball they give you two sometimes three not better. It's one of those stupid sports like soccer. One fucking point. Uh, we don't know who these guys are, though, still. We, we still don't know. And I have Zatopa of the pair. Plus, I have a Drew. So, does anybody have anything? The score was 4-1. to one. Oh, man. You, I'm telling you. They're going into the last of the game. Sherry BB. Okay. 328. Man, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Boo. Ah, oh, well. Man, if I would have raised it, what would have happened? Matthew Chicka Chuck can die in a house fire. God damn right. 
a full deer. Because I got me a powerful aching thirst. And I'm ready to pop open the fizzy water. You guys, I think I drink too much coffee, man. Let me see. And there was a, like a limpy poo? Was there? All right. I'm in 280. Maybe I can make a move. It was indeed 280. Now here, you're getting odds, dude. Put me a two. Come on, biatch. And shut up. Make me win. TMNT Bebop says, I've already told you, Eddie, there's no such thing as too much coffee. I think there is, man. It gets me, like, too nervous, but it, uh, the taste is too good. And no, I'm not going for that decaffeinated shit. If I go for decaffeinated, I'll just make some drip. It tastes actually pr almost as good. Um, what is that, like, six, five, ninety-four is the bet. Very aggressive, the boy. Besides, I could get, like, um, there's a lot of cards I could get. I have the D, right? Yeah, all right. Man, poker, easy game. Okay, I'm going to fold this. We Finns drink the most coffee in the world per capita. Well, good for you. I'm telling you, though, it is. I, I uh, drink too much. I really do. But it tastes too good, and it's just sitting here right next to me, the machine. I put in a capsule, I push the button, and voila! Yeah, but man, this coffee I'm making over here, man, this is rot gut shit. This will chew a hole in your stomach lining. Well, you guys. Hey, so um, let's finish off this uh, discussion of the Jets. So uh, they're still going? Did they have to, like, win now, like, two or three games in a row or something like that to do it? Three wins advances, and they have five games to do it, so they could probably take one more loss, but they have to get uh, three wins. And what about the competition? Are they good or not? I mean, the remaining competition. Uh, oh, yeah, man. It's got bubbles in it. Brewed from a mountain stream, just like JHMC says. Oh, well, wait a minute. Cheap fuckers took out probably our best players. No, I mean the teams that are going up against the Immortal Jets. The cheap fuckers took out probably our best player, and he's injured. Well, I'm surprised that somebody got injured playing in a hockey game. You could have knocked me over with a feather. We are against the Flames, no one else yet. Okay, so it's just the, um, the Jets and the Flames. And that's it. For a five-game runoff. Okay, I see. Well, best of luck over there, buddy. I don't want you to get too depressed. Best of luck. One series against a single team. Okay. Well, actually, that's... um. It was a known dirty clown shoe. Yeah, but man, he got taken out by the mascot? 
JHMC says it was a dirty clown shoe. He got taken out by the mascot. Anybody could have told you before the game he'd do some cheap shit. Well, he must be a Republican then. He always does some cheap, dirty shit. And did he go into the uh, penalty box for that? See, I know that. Penalty box. Slap shot. Power play. Or did he get eliminated from the game? Kicked out. <laughs> okay, all right, never mind. Worse than a Republican, he's a plain man. Anyway, what a stupid name for a team, the Flames. I'm I'm rooting for the Jets just because of the stupid name of the other team. Go Jets. Apparently that works for Angie. She says go Pats and then they win. So I'm going to go go Jets. Speaking of Angie, we've not seen her this uh, week. I guess she's uh, getting her end in. Maybe she met a nice boy. I hope so. And she can hug. Uh, if I, man, you know what? Man, seriously, I was doing like, okay. Just doing this like folding and folding and folding. And anyway, you know, I have to drag this out, man. I'm almost, I'm fucking broke, man. It's either this or the rent. So, uh, caution is the uh, better part of valor. Or something. They were originally the Atlanta Flames, but relocated to Calgary in the early 80s. And they should have uh, taken the um, opportunity to change their name. I mean, how many, how much Flames are up there in cold Calgary? I don't think very many. Maybe they could have changed it to the Icicles or something like that. The Calgary Icicles. That would have been a good name. The Calgary Snowbanks. But no. They could have taken my advice. But no. But And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, what a dramatic finish last night as I took down a ticket to level three of the hundred thousand euro free roll. Yeah, I know. I'm great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cousins named the team the Flames after the fire resulting from the march to the sea in the American Civil War. So, so like literally, it's it was the Atlanta, and that that fits in with uh, <clears throat> the history. But like I say, what the fuck? There's no flames up there. You guys are free freezing your butts off. The Calgary Down Jackets. That would have been a better name. Nina's mom, I know. It was really exciting. And not only that, it really is who wants to be a millionaire. Because first of all, you get to level one. And the questions are pretty easy. And then you get to level two. Questions are a little bit harder. You can just roll over everybody. And then you get to the final level where that 100,000 euro 
jackpot is waiting. Three bebop. And we are going to see what goes on here. We may do it, we may not. It just depends on how, how badly I play here. We may see it again tonight. As we go for that 100,000 euro jackpot prize pool. I'm sorry, Hugo, did you, uh, okay, call the one time, looking for a, a strit, huh? Yeah, I guess the clubs kind of scared him off. Then you get a ticket into the free roll. That's where you can actually make the money. I, I believe that's over two days as, as well. I think the deal is if you make it to end of, um, I remember uh, Jaheeb telling me, uh, yes, the free roll is a big MTT, all the people that make it past level three. Yep. Um, I believe, uh, Jaheeb told me that, uh, basically, if you can get it pa <clears throat> past, uh, the first day, then almost everybody who makes it to day two is going to get at least some money. So, I mean, really, yeah. I mean, I guess I really shouldn't be talking about it now. Hugo calls again, 15-8, after 49 hands. Oh, yeah, we got some hands on him. And we got some hands on Maxime, 76, 101 hands, 22-15. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good shit. But let's not count our chickens before they're hatched. We first of all have to get to, we have to win tonight. Or we could come in second and get another level three. We could also come in second. And then we'd have like another chance at it. I might have been tempted there if I had not folded right away when I see Hugo putting money in. I'm going to just put some money in. For the heck of it. But no, 771 and... Uh, and now two, two of the pairs. But three of the hearts. And another... And now another heart. Well, there goes my two pair down the fucking drain. Alrighty. And was there an eight? No, there wasn't. Well, okay. There's ten eight. I'm still not doing it though. I mean, these guys are very aggressive, Vince. Very aggressive players. So you guys, exciting news. The um the healthcare plan is supposed to get it unveiled today. Two weeks ago, Dickhead said we're gonna be releasing a health care plan, a comprehensive health health care plan to, in two weeks. And uh it's gonna be the greatest health care plan that you've ever seen. Nobody's done a health care plan like this ever. And it's today that he's going to uh, unveil it. It's going to be very exciting. Except nothing's going to fucking happen. The guy talking on his butt. Can you believe that man? President of the United States, he just goes, well, like, like maybe I'll just tell you guys. Uh, my girlfriend lives in Canada. She's a uh, six feet, one inch blonde. And... um. 
But she lives in Canada, so I can't uh, fuck her right now. With uh, 40 inch boobs. For that, I threw that in there for uh, God of Knockers. I could have just said that too, but I'm just like a regular person. I'm not the president of the United States. <laughs> you know, that's what they always say. Yeah, my girlfriend lives in Canada. Bebop says, you broke up with a neighbor lady. No, but <clears throat> she, she uh, invited me over for dinner. And I accepted without thinking, which was probably not a good idea. I should have just said no. And I guess there's really no danger. You can hear the wedding bells already. No, she's a, she's a racist. She's she's a fucking racist. She's like one of those unconscious unconscious racists. I mean, that's hard to say quickly. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, I'm going to have position. All right, I'm in. Not really such a great hand, to tell you the truth. Do, 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 do. I can teach her what? I can teach her how to play RimWorld. Everybody wants to play. Why, you guys? I don't know. On the one hand... You know, she's not going anywhere for August, and I'm not going anywhere for August. Although, you know what? I have some money in the... I got some money in the bank. And, um... Well, there goes my... There goes that. Um, I got some money in the bank, man. I could go, like... I'm telling you, I like to go to the sea. And, like, have, like, a couple nights in a hotel. I like hotels. It's not that far away. I'll go to some resorty kind of place. And, um... <clears throat> no, I just want to take a train for a couple hours. That's it. Just dump me off and... And, um... And deal with it. Really? Really, you guys? Nobody has an ace? Come on, get the fuck out of here. Nah. At least to Estonia and ferry over. Oh man, seriously, man, I just wanted to like get on the train. Maybe I'm not. I'm not even sure. You know, I always say like, yeah, I'd like to do that, but um, I might not even do that. Uh oh, King Eight. Oh fuck. Well, six hundred and one is the bet. Eight. I said six hundred. Oh yeah, six hundred one is the bet. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, king eight. This guy really no thinking, really, you guys. No, I just imagine like taking a train for like a little ways. And, um, betting, uh, 1,000. No, I'm betting 900. Representing that nice old pair. No thinking. Uh, 2,000. Okay, check. Yes, yes. If I was <laughs> oh fuck the hell. Oh, the poor guy. Yeah, give me a kapow. Oh, he had. I would never represent what the other guy has. Like, that's what I was doing. I was representing what the other guy had. That was pretty lucky.
Okay, we all take it. There's a lot of luck in this game, I'll tell you what. Well, we'll see. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, man. I don't like them. I don't like the weekends for some reason. They're just like my regular news shows. But, man, watching the news, man, is fucked. I suppose God of Knockers or Nina's Mom, you guys don't do that, do you? I mean, you try to avoid it at all possible, don't you? That's pretty much my main activities watching the news since now i'm kind of tired of all the video games um and then in terms of like what's going on with the um with my new pills it's really not helping i mean they're not helping yet although i looked them up on the uh, internet and it goes like it takes like a week for them to kick in so maybe, um, maybe we will see some, uh, progress here coming up. But I'm still in pretty much the same shape. Uh, which is not great. Little movie poo. God of Knocker says it's like looking at a dirty toilet. You get a sense of where it is, then look away for a while. Yeah, well, get that scrubby brush out, God of Knockers, and clean that bitch out. I sure as hell would like to do that with the American government. I promise you. Well, we'll have our chance on November 3rd now, won't we? To grab that cleaning brush and scrub that bitch away, all those shit stains. Absolutely, Nina's mom. Absolutely. You know what, though, you guys? Seriously, I mean, I don't want to be too alarmist, but, um, the United States is teetering on the brink of authoritarianism. I mean, they're, they're like, they're going like, well, you know, armed, armed, unmarked police causing trouble. They even admit it. That's the thing, man. <laughs> they, they even admit it. They go like, why are you doing this? And they go, we need some viral content. It's true. They say it. Why are you sending a, a tr like fucking stormtroopers into the city we need some viral content to put up on the internet you know, on ads showing how the anarchists and antifa they do they admit it got a knockers we need some viral content and the same thing with the fucking u.s post office can you believe that shit same thing why are they attacking the, the United States Post Office? Because that's where the fucking ballots are going to come in because of the coronavirus. Uh, I'm probably getting odds for diamonds. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Uh-oh. Okay, a check. We got two checks. Good. I can get a king, too. I might have to call one street. All right, that doesn't help me. And now I'm down to 18... 18%. God damn it. Oh, wait a minute, 18%. And, and, but I make, like, how much more money do I make, though? They have 11,000 and 10... God damn it, you guys make me do pot odds. So it's uh, 1,730 to win 7,008... Oh, let's call it 8,000. So it's like 2,000 to win 8,000. That's like 25%, and it's 18%. And fuck, 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 fuck. All right, I'm going to, I'm Lansing. It's probably not worth it. And it isn't worth it. All right, I check. I 
Man, I don't know. That's probably like a little bit light. But then again, you can raise. You can uh, bump it on up and make some more money. So maybe that makes it worth it. Especially since you're pretty sure somebody got an ace over there. Ah, well. You lose some and you lose some. That's what my daddy said. He said, son, in this here life, you lose some and you lose some. You know what, you guys? I didn't even call 420 because I'm already, like, really ripped. And I have a feeling, man, this com combo platter of the coffee and bad boys is, is not all that great. Still, though, what the fuck, man? It's a, it's a tradition. It's a venerable tradition. So let's go ahead and blow one. What the hell? Nina's mom calls him an asshole, but it's worse because he's a malignant narcissist. Except he has the whole world by the balls. He's got the whole nation by the balls, and I know he's got me by the balls. That's the worst part. Because I really dislike him so much, I guess even hate. I hate him so much that um, it's affected my mood. I wouldn't be surprised if some of that shit... Wow, ace-queen wins? Get out of here. I wouldn't be surprised if some of this shit, like, you know, the <clears throat> putting kids in cages and, and you know, lying all the time and saying that he's going to have a health care plan in two weeks, but he doesn't do it. Um, I'm uh, Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not like 8% of my current depression is that. That it just seems like everything's spinning out of control. And, um... Yeah, he he goes, there's no money in it. He, he goes, like, how much money do they make? That's all he cares about. Or do they like me? That's all he cares about. If there was some hockey star that was a big drunk fan, then he would go, like, you know, He's so great. Everyone should follow Mike Smith. The thing is about a malignant narcissist, maybe that's what happened with uh, Nina's mom's ex-husband. Uh, ex, uh, is that they'll just uh, emotionally uh, grab you. And then they like manipulate and manipulate. And then eventually they might go, well, I'm sorry. But then they just go back to doing like the same thing that they've always been doing. Except he's such a fucking asshole, he never says I'm sorry. He just goes like, no, it's your fault. Now, in my marriage, there was plenty of blame to go around. I think we were kind of both assholes, but I was a pretty big asshole, too. But I learned my lesson. Ten eight, man, but so far back. Let's try a limp. What the fuck? I haven't I haven't limped yet. Twenty six hands, fifteen four. I'm gonna chuck in a limp here. Never can tell. Yes, I got the position. All right, fifty thirty three. All right, yeah. I like the concept. All right, put a heart. I said put a heart, you dickheads. And it's like a noon pocket, pocket, um, somethings. All right, I'm folding. That's what I get for playing 10-8, huh? Still, it was 10-8. 
You. Booting it, my friend. Vincenti. And, wow. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, buddy. 19 hands, 50, 33. 53, 37. Bless your little heart. Nine bigs. Alright, let's get to work here. Enough of this John. Let's get to work on the bad boy. And there's an ace. GG, buddy. Man, I'm probably getting odds for this, too. Nah, I'm gonna fold. <laughs> Nothing but bad moves. 500. Really? And 500. And there's my two pair. I wondered. Well, now we know what five hundred represents. I'm laying it down. I'm laying this down too. I'm making my bad boy. Don't bother me. I'm busy. Do, 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 do. Five hundred. <laughs> I tell you what. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm happy to live in a country where they've kind of semi-mastered it. They haven't really mastered it, but... Oh, there was a chick in the... I, I went out and got some Chinese food because, man, I haven't had Chinese food in a really long time. And so I went down to the place across the street, and there was this chick in there with no mask. And it made me so mad. And she's in there going like, eh, 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 like this, man. And I go like, man, how can you, you know, it always, there's a sign on the door. It's just like, mask, you need a mask. Man, I would have won. I have a shitty kicker. Well, anyway, here's looking at you, kid.
I have to admit, I really do like poker because you just have to click one time. I wouldn't even have to click, I can just hit F1. You know, the way this is originally configured when you get the, the when you get the Winamax program, it's like F1 is fold. You know, there's three buttons down here. F1 is fold, but the original thing was F2 is call. And those buttons are like right next to each other. And then F3 is raise like 2x. So you could, uh, you know, easily hit call instead of, so I moved it. Man, no, fuck it. Eddie, 33 hands, 15-3. My God, the kid. He's tighter than a soldier's asshole. Oh my goodness, what a fucking soap opera this is. Uh, he left me after I nursed him back to health after a car. Really? He had broken his arm and leg. Um, I had to wipe his ass. <laughs> bathe him, feed him, everything. He had both things, the broken arm and the broken leg. And then after you nursed him to health, he left me for a real bitch, his so-called best friend friend's fiance I don't I so his best friend was probably not all that enamored with um with um the outcome either man you should have gone with his best friend I mean, what can I say? I mean, after that story, you just pretty much revenge. Uh, I fold. And Bebop says, can you customize the bet buttons? Yes, you can. He was probably a jerk, too comes right down to it. Anyway, all the dudes, man, they're all jerks. I should know I'm a I'm a dude. I mean, it's uh, the customizing is in the the whatever the uh, options or something like that. Little movie poo here. All right. Okay. I don't care. I'm just dragging it out. We are good friends. So, wait a minute. We are good friends. You're good friends with the uh, best friend uh, of the fiancé. Better than getting together than it not work. I was heartbroken, shattered. But you're doing better now. That's the most important thing. You got over it. I'll tell you what, Nina's mom. You are one tough bitch. And that's a huge compliment. I'm telling you what, all this, all the shit you've been through, and you're still rocking it on down. Oh dear, what can I do? This looks like a kind of a ace, something good, and a move. And uh, I think I'm gonna risk it here. I still have ten thousand. Let's put the music. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Although sevens, man. All right, we'll just see. I call. Oh, King 8. Oh, yeah, obviously. Uh-oh, he might win, actually. Oh, fucking hell. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? I lose. Why did I... I will still take... Uh, I'll take pocket sevens over King 8 offsuit. Absolutely. I will take it. Uh, I won't take this, though. Anyway, Nina's mom, the important thing is you made it and you're here. That's the, that's the most important thing. You made it. 
You got through it and you're still here. You're still kicking. Of course, then again, I've been through an awful lot of shit too, but not as bad as you. But I've been some, through some pretty bad shit. And I'm still here. And honestly, if I think about all the shit that I've been through, man, I probably shouldn't be here. But somehow I made it. And I'm not sure how. It was touch and go several times. Well, maybe two times. Well, why not? Okay, Regis, I'm going to go with D. All in. That guy seems to want to play it like an awful lot. Come on, God damn it! make me win. Dead money out there, too. Come on, Biatch, it's suited. I'm 50-50, even against an underpair. Give me some spades and shut up. Yes! Yes, two spades and a queen and an ace. Oh, I like the concept. Yeah, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I take it down. I take it down, ladies and gentlemen. And you fucking called me with ace-10, too. Da, na, 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 na. Right back in it. You're the next winner on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, I know, dude. Make a clip. Full house. Somebody make a clip. You'll never see that again. Actually worked out pretty good because uh, he could have thought five five L seventy four. Probably he could have thought that I was just like trying to get him back. Well, Nina's mom says we are both strong. You know what, though? Nina's mom is I'm less strong now. I, I would need uh, the support of the uh, psychiatric clinic now. If anything, like I had to move out or something like that. They kicked me out of the apartment. I would need some big help. And I've been moved. Wait! Not heads up? Fuck this shit. No, I'm not playing no heads up. I'm waiting for players to start? No, it's not the fuck. Look, oh man. I opened up a new table. Alright, I'm delaying. I'm fucking del- yes. Yeah, but I don't- I don't have to, um... Well, then again, it's a pretty good hand too, but then again, it lost last time too, didn't it? He's a 42-27 after 12 hands. Brain sucker. He's the man, the man with the, if I get a low flop. And I got a low flop. 1,430 is the bet. If he calls, we'll know that he's there's got a straight or something. It, really? You had a straight? Come on, you just flopped the fucking straight like that? Alright, I call. Jack six. No, dude. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking do it. He got no a straight! Yes, I did it! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for me! 
give it up for me. Eddie. How the fucking great. Kid. Zero to hero. Thank you, girls. Thank you. I'll be signing autographs and more backstage after the match, after the show. Oh, yeah. Bebop is happy, man. He's going to get a, maybe like an hour and a half of broadcast if he's lucky. No, man, if I'm going to play shorthanded, it better be final table. Here we have another wiener of the War of the Stars. Man, it seems like there's a lot of people that get into these shitty tournaments that are like, um, I don't know what they won. The winner of the G&G &G Championship. Bad killer. Boot it all in, my friend. Boost him around. Bet killer, you got plenty of money, dude. What you gonna do when we come for you? And he gets a king. Nope. I'm not doing it. Working in the background, we've got Sheliac. Hello there, Sheliac. Thanks for coming by. Shut up. The small dick crowd. The small dick brigade. Every time I hear a high-powered motorcycle go by, I just go... The Small Dick Brigade. No. So level 13. Tanner paid. My mate. Man, I'm doing good. Everybody fold. That's good. This guy pretty tight. 79 hands, 10 8. You can just fold too, dude. It's just better. Yeah. There we go. GG. Well, you guys can fold too. 
We got Tisp over here. He sees the money. He wants the money. You know what? I don't even care. Got 56 bigs. Got a bad boy. We're on break. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> okay. We're on break. We'll be back after these important messages. Late Night Poker is sponsored by Brondo, the Thirst Mutilator, the Verizon C Card Blocker TM, Busy Water, it's got bubbles in it, and by Eddie's PayPal. Sometimes you gotta give moss.
And we are back. Welcome back to the program. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Late Night Poker. I'm your host, Eddie Vegas. Our number two of tonight's insanely interesting and engaging poker broadcast here on Twitch.tv. Uh, thanks to a fortuitous double up poo we have 44,000 and 55 bigs, and I'm going to fold all my hands because 10 are paid, and I think it goes to level 16. We will see. I'm going to turn my voice up a little bit. Well, good. I can drag this bitch out. I'm kind of happy about that. And no, I'm not doing it. You know, it really is amazing, man. I'm, I mean, I don't play that much. I'm just playing like three times a week. You'd think I'd see like the same people. But quite often, we just don't, we have like new people I've never played against. I mean, okay, we got shit with 82 hands, 10, 7. Okay, that's good. It's 52 hands over here, 15, 12. That's good. And uh, Star, we got some hands on him. So, yeah, this is this is kind of exceptional here. And actually, do have some hands on people. But quite often, it's all newbies. I've never played against. Which is weird. The cops. And it's not always the cops. Sometimes it's the, um, I mean, most often it's the ambulances. Either that or the fire department. <clears throat> I don't know how it is in the States, man, but everybody, like, no matter what happens, you don't call the police. You call the fire department. And then the fire department, they, <laughs> they get there and then they call the police. Really? That's pretty exciting. Well, what are you thinking about now? Ace Queen, Ace King. Wow, Ace Queen. Come on, get out of here. Really? Are you shitting me, man? I'm not I'm not dealing with this guy. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> I'm steering clear of that dude. Well, we have a rather sparse crowd here. Uh, seems to me we lost some people tonight. I guess everybody's just sick of me. I don't understand. They really like Daniel Negrano, but I'm a poker player too, but nobody likes me. I don't get it. Noper? No, man. That's right, Bebop. I'm way more entertaining. Yeah, I feel better. And now let's see what happens here. What will happen to me? I mean, everybody can fold, too. Good bet. All right. You are the wiener. And wait, he's back. Shit, you little bit over there, man. 
Bad killer. Well, I would have done had me an open ender. Not very much. And there's my straight strit. <laughs> Ouch. That's painful. Another three thousand. I have to admit this strategy of just folding all my hands is pretty easy. You barely have to think, which is good. I'm sick of thinking. Thinking will just get you into trouble. You don't want to be doing that shit. And well, ladies and gentlemen, where is Tree Fitty? Uh, 2810. We've got to take it on down the line, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, and this is the guy who fucking hits with, like, whatever. Alright, I continue to bet. Um, I'd rather, if, even if he has, like, two clubs, I'd rather make it, like, 9,000. You can just fold. I'll take that. Fuck yes, man. I'm gonna take that. <clears throat> you know, if I could be bothered... I could look at these things because this is kind of a thing where it will show like what they've done. The icon here. Like I think the atomic bomb is like means that you won a tournament or something like that. And uh, this icon means that you've done something, something, something. I could look them up but I don't care. Do, 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 do. He's bumping it up, Vince. Putting his money in the middle. Man, that's why you don't limp. You better have something. And he goes all in, Vince. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. He needs a king or another 10. He don't get it. Bad killer. Easy game. Easy game poker. You guys, Ace-Queen has won twice. We may be in the negative zone.
<sighs> the sevens are looking good, but yeah, the seven sold up. You're gone, dude. GG. And we are closing in on the dead fly watch. Is that crazy time? They're putting their monies in the middle. And he's going to need a queen or a jack. And he don't do it. And this guy, man, he just wins. I'm, I was the only one who beat him. Uh, 3140. I know it's crazy. 3140. I'm just going to do it. Get the boot on. Maybe they fold. Who knows? All right, check. Even I got a Drew now. All right, I check. And uh, do 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 four thousand. Man, I'm not leaving that money out there. Yeah, I like the concept. Thank you for the money. Siku is in and out. He just made a cameo appearance. He says, howdy, cash well. I catch an... Oh, you catch another stream. Yeah, you're here two nights in a row, man. What's going on? I guess I guess there's no... Um, I guess there's no emergencies today. How are you doing, Siku? Well, if you joined us late, I think you joined us just in time for the Dead Fly Watch level 16. I'm now, <clears throat> I'm now a 12th out of uh, 40. 11 are paid. And I have an average stack, which is what my girlfriend said. My girlfriend who lives in Canada. Who is six feet one inch tall and blonde and has 40 inch boobs. Her name is, um, uh, Jane. Action's hot and heavy. Nope. I'm doing it. None today. I made sure they were all yesterday. Good for you. Had fun playing with a rusted out one ton propane tank. Wait a minute. And what was... <laughs> what was wrong with the rusted out one ton propane tank? Did it have a leak in it? I'm trying to think what could possibly be wrong with... Um, we safely flared it off, whatever that means, then went home. Okay. Well, at least you didn't have to worry about catching that fucking coronavirus. I don't think a, t a rusted out one ton propane tank can give it to you. Oh, it was leaking. Okay. So I guess that old N95 was not exactly the um, 
the absolutely the best thing to uh, patch that bitch up. How do, man, seriously, how would you? And we safely flared it off. I just can't imagine taking a blowtorch to it. It seems like you would use some duct tape or something. Never has something so fun been at the same time so boring. I just can't imagine taking a blowtorch to a thing that's leaking propane. Uh, I let it go. Still, though, I mean, I have to admit, that's the kind of thing where you never can tell what's going to happen. You know, and I guess that's probably good. Every day is like a new adventure. I guess that's good. It's better than like flipping burgers, where you're just basically flipping burgers the entire eight hours. Flare means release the gas far away from the tank and burn it off. Like you would see in a... Okay, so you emptied the propane. You got all the propane out and burn it far away from the tank. Okay. And 4,000... Man, I'm doing this with these small pairs, man. I'm just letting them go. I see. Still, though, I mean, yeah, it's a dangerous job and everything like that, but at least you have, like, new stuff. You never can tell what they're going to call you for. I was just saying, here in France, man, they called, nobody calls the police. No matter what it is, they call the fire department. And nobody trusts the police. And everybody trusts the fire department. And it was the uh, fire department took care of me when I had my wreck on my, my little scooter thingy. Uh, and they did a, a professional and bang-up job. They took care of me. And got me to the hospital. You know, they I have to admit, they look pretty bored, too. Ah, here goes another guy. Smashed up his thing. Smashed up his mouth. I'm folding. And this too. Well, the uh, dudes came back from space. I just watched a, a replay. I didn't tune in. I'm not that interested. Oh, we've got this guy here too. War Eternal. 52 hands, 6-6. Six, six. This guy even tighter than me. 31 hands, 7-7. Seven, seven. Nobody does good, man. 52 hands, 6-6. Six, six. Siku says that is the best part. Yeah, I would imagine. I always get a chance to see new variations of things. All too low to balance out or all the nuance... Fire alarm that get run. Oops, I burned the popcorn and forgot to tell the alarm company to cancel y'all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you have the cat stuck up in the tree and... Yeah, uh, I, I figured you did. Um, I guess you guys get the cat stuck in the tree and the, the water leaks and stuff like that, too. Oh, the nuisance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I get it now. Man, I have to change my Twitter back. It's really easier to change my Twitter back to the original thing, Eddie Vegas Poker, uh, than it is to change, like, six things.
I guess I'll do that. <laughs> Unless somebody took my name in the meantime. Yeah, they had splashdown. I saw somebody on, on Twitter and go like, this is my new favorite expression, splashdown. And when, when I was a kid, that was like the whole thing because they didn't know how to do any of that stuff. It had to come down into the sea. So everybody was saying splash down this and splash down that. But uh, apparently there was some young person of today that um, had never heard of that uh, expression. Kittens in cars, tight. Oh, dear. Those are the cutest calls. Oh. Oh, the real catty poo. No, seriously, that's, that's good. Seriously, man, you're doing some good shit. You're making good karma. It's a noble profession. You help people. That's the only way I can help people is by doing this show. That's the, really my limit to what I can do. Oh my god, uh, speaking of Twitter, oh my god, this story. Holy shit. Alright, I'm telling it. So, this guy... <laughs> this guy... He's like, uh, his, he has two twin sons. And, um, the twin sons come up, they come up to the dad, who's the Twitter guy. And they go, Dad, did you know that uh, Trump is trying to um, close down TikTok? And he goes, yeah, I knew it. He goes, yeah, I knew it. He goes, man, that's not fair, the kids say. That's not fair. I really like TikTok. Uh, and also, Dad, did you know that if you sign up with the Trump uh, election thing, that they will send you free, like, all this material, like hats and, and bumper stickers and signs? Uh, did you know that? And uh, he goes, no, I didn't. And so then the kids, they start, like, fidgeting around and they start, like, looking guilty. So the dad knows them really good, so he goes, okay, kids... What'd you do? And you go, well... Uh, you go, come on, your mom is going to kill you. Tell me what you did. Wow, Jax, no, Ace Queen. Again, Ace Queen is winning. Holy shit. Man, I, I think we're definitely in the, the twilight zone here. So they go, he goes, uh, you better tell me what, what you did. So they go, well... We signed up. And the dad goes, what? You signed up for the Trump thing? And so then they start looking at each other again. And they go, what else did you do? And they go, well, we did it 30 times. We signed up 30 times to be a Trump volunteer. And the dad goes, wow, what? 30 times? How do, what? What just wh why who what what why did you do it? So then they are kind of like going humming and hawing and everything like that. So the dad goes, so you mean to tell me that in a few more days we're gonna get thirty election kits for Donald Trump? We're gonna get like yard signs and bumper stickers and hats for thirty thirty times? And they go, uh, yeah. Um. And so the dad says, what are we going to do with 30 election kits of Donald Trump? And they look at him and they go, we're going to burn it. We're going to burn it to the ground. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I follow the guy and I'm waiting for the next, like, uh, you know, next few days he says he's going to take pictures. <laughs> They're going to roast some marshmallows, I guess, or something like that. So, Siku says, dude, you do art. Art is the zenith of bringing good things. Oh, man, it's too, that's really nice of you, man. That's really nice of you. And he says, the silly things I do are a necessary thing. Yeah, but, man, it's, it's, um, ah, uh, ace queen, dude, ace queen. Huh. Finally, we get some rationality here.
I don't know. Of course, then again, I'm I'm putting the shoe on. Um, <laughs> I'm putting the shoe on the other foot. I just go like, man, that's some that's some real help in the world. But then again, I believe in karma. You know, if you do good stuff, then good stuff might happen to you. But then again, I believe in it. There's no rational reason for me to do that except for all that Eastern religion shit. But I do believe in it. You try to help people and it comes back to you. So I hope that happens to you. And Bebop says, yes, I'm an influencer on Twitter. You haven't checked me out there on Twitter there, dude. We made uh, Never Give Up Mike Smith. Or something like that. We made it go viral. 17.9k. Trending in France. Well, I guess that's the next step there, TMNT Bebop. Get a contract with Nike or something like that. You know? I just have to wear the Nike shit. Wait! We have received a new subscription. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got breaking news. Bebop has just gifted a sub to Mr. Siku. All right, dude. Thank you, Bebop, and congratulations, Siku. Now you are going to be looking good with that, with that red LMP. And you're going to get a lot of chicks. I mean, thank you, Bebop. Yay. Yay, Bebop. You're the best, dude. <laughs> Mini pruti. Fruit is a cute word for fart in French. That's what you ask a kid. Did you go prout? Well, you know what, you guys? 26 are left, and there's eight play eight uh, tables. I mean, uh, eight-handed. So we get down to 24, and we're going to go to the Eddie's PayPal Red Zone. Though, if I ever got a chance to tell you all about the good that Twin Sun does, I would look like an evil monster. No, dude. I mean, I'm sure she does good, too, and she's... Oh, fuck. She's building up uh, karma, too. Honestly, I believe in that shit. You do good things, and somehow it gets back to you. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, well, we just need to lose one more player. And hopefully that's not me. Yeah, Saku, man, you're looking good with that green... LMP icon. You're looking hot, dude. Man, Saku, I didn't know it, man. They give you 25, uh, they give you, uh, they give you 25 planes. They give you 25 planes in the new, uh, flight simulator. 25. Man, the last time I played flight simulator, I think they gave you, like, three. No, man, back in the Atari days, they gave you two. They gave you the Cessna, and they gave you the private jet. Whereas here, oh my god, they give you, like, as a starter, they give you, like, the Airbus 360. 
<laughs> I can just see it, man. Well, obviously, I'm going to have to take that baby for a spin. Know what I mean? I mean, it's talk like a pilot day. That's the one thing I love to do, man. And honestly, I think, I'm, actually, I think I'm spending, and it's cost 70 euros, too. A fucking game. Fortunately, I have some money in my uh, PayPal. <clears throat> but, um... And I like the challenges they have added. I'm just hoping so much on that flight model problems that FXX had are fixed. It is so bad. Really? They, from what I've read, they worked, they worked like hard on it. I watched a video today where the guy gets icing on his wings. And you can see the fucking, <laughs> you can see on the, the, on the windshield, you can see the fucking crystalline things start to climb up slowly on the thing, man. I'm telling you what, this graphics on this thing, man, blow me away. So that's mainly the two things is like, uh, I can cast it and talk like a pilot. I'm going to love the shit out of that. I, I, I might never stop. I, I'm going to configure like another audio channel where I take all the bass out. So it sounds like I'm talking on a radio or an intercom. And uh, somebody was telling me, because I'm, I'm actually reading about it, but apparently the game part of it, you could do a thing like where they actually have like a hauling, like you have to haul a... Um, I don't know, like material, like shit. You have to haul it from one airport to another and then you make some money or something like that. That sounds pretty cool too. Or just like, you know, Airbus, you know, a, like a eight passenger thing that you're carrying uh, some passengers from point A to point B and you get paid for it. Man, you know what? Uh, this is really way too far back. It really is. Honestly, I'm just, I'm, I have a bad feeling about this Chewy. I really do. So yeah, graphics and being able to talk like a pilot. That's the main thing. <clears throat> I ask on the forum, I still haven't got an answer, but I'm worried about the, the main thing. I'm going to buy it on Steam, but I want that two-hour return, um, return model. And what do I have, 11 bigs? Man, this could be the end of the broadcast here. Well, let's go for it. I'm gonna go with D, Regis. All in. Final answer. And this would be a good move here. Come on, Paige. Do you want to do it? All right, a call. Five, six. He tried to push me off the end. And uh, he made a fucking straight, right? Yes, he made a straight. You dickhead. Ladies, oh, the fucking piece of fucking shit. I'm out. Are you shitting me? Five, six. Five, six. The f you can rent planes from other people and fly them with the supply with people or supplies for money. Yeah, that's the thing I'm I'm looking for. You know what, you guys? I'm a little bit tired, so I know I'm not going to do this dad three. Um, I'm going to take it on down the line. I I can do that anytime, so I'll just keep it for another another day. I was kind of keeping it for the in case everything just like totally fucked up, but um, I'm a little bit tired, so I'm going to take it on down the line. Okay, everybody, it was a uh, fun week of broadcasting, and I really do appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me. Um, and we will see you uh, next Friday. A.
I'm turning Canadian now. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.